at this point to be to be falling for the Pichu gimmicks. Yeah, exactly. Like even the uh, even the lowest level player is just like, you serious, man? Yeah, we we know the good stuff now. <laughs> we we know. Uh, why, oh, why it looks like we're straight into Plup Ginger. Literally straight into it. Straight into it. Starting already. We're starting on Battlefield. Um, so the way that Plup approaches this matchup is um, so versus Spacey's. Sheik sort of has to um, deal with low percents um, because they get very easily crouch canceled and counter hit. Um, and so Sheiks have to find their own individual ways to get the spacey out of that percent. The way Plup does it is um, he very, ooh, SD there. Um, he maneuvers around the platforms um, and because he's got such slick platform movement and he's really elusive, um, he will find the stray aerials like, and all you need is like two to four stray aerials to get them into a percent where F tilt is going to start knocking down. Um, fair or bear is going to send them maybe off stage if they're in a good position. Um, or, you know, if he can get the grab like he is now, the tech chase is going to be like making that job a lot easier. You know, he got two there. That's that's like about two fairs or bears. Ooh, really nice tech from Ginger. Yeah, Ginger's actually doing a great job in this matchup, um, mm -hmm. consider, all things considered of what you were saying. He's really staying in the box, uh, like the sheep phone booth, really, mm -hmm. and scrapping right alongside Ginger instead of trying to set up a, a series of laser traps or anything like that. Yeah. Plup is being really tough to break into right now. Oh, he calls the rollback in, shines it. He's in an edge guard situation now, but that bear could have actually been uh, shield grabbed. Now calls out that role too. Got a tech chase coming from. Uh, <laughs> not, not a bad spot. It's, it's a horrible spot to be in. You realize like he's he's behind me. Yeah, he's behind me. <laughs> he's reacting. Wow. I mean, like from a from a pretty meaty combo from Ginger early on to being down about a stock and a half. Uh, it this is fast. yeah, not a terrible position here. Oh, he gives up ledge. Yeah, it's kind of tough with the timing. Um, maybe especially online. The aura of Plup was just enough to spook him off the ledge there. Yeah. Oh, the shine. I think I think maybe he thought he was a little late and just, like, needed to get something out. But down tilt, down smash, F smash, bear, um, all of those would have killed at that point. Yeah, it's, it's the Plup aura for sure. Yeah, and, you know, Falco's... Every Falco in the world is uh, is prone to panicky options. Yeah, I mean, out. you also got to think, like, Plup's probably at a pretty big advantage in this tournament just simply because of the fact that none of these guys are used to playing high-level, high-dollar melee matches online, but he is no stranger to playing melee in your sweatpants or pajamas for a lot of money. <laughs> so he's, he's got, like, a default home field advantage uh -huh. sort of just because he's, like, in his prime, you know, zone outfit. Yeah, other people are like, <laughs> like, he's like, oh, your first time. <laughs> Other people is their first tournament. Yeah. So I mean, also with um, I think just Plup is that good that it's not exactly a surprise um, that game one was a convincing win. One hundred percent. And that's as good as Ginger is as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but it's gonna be probably FD or um, Stadium. Yeah, FD. Um. It's gonna be uh, power shielding at this, like with this input latency, is really impressive. So, like just speaking to how good Plup is, um, but Ginger is in a good position. Anytime you see Plup high up, because um, Plup is gonna need to land, and uh, Sheik doesn't have the aerial drifts to really make it that ambiguous. That nair was so well done, just stopping all the options on the edge there for Falco. Mm. Gives up the edge again a little too early. Ooh, I like the laser down tilt. I think it could have, have been like crouch counters sold or something. Maybe it's just too low percent. Opportunity for Ginger here. Oh, he gets burned. That's a huge tilter. Did his invincibility that... just run out before he could like reset or anything? Yeah. I, yeah. I think he was resetting, but like 
didn't want to let go too late, like for fear of uh, Plup getting there or him getting burned. Um, well, which, he's up in stock. No. Yeah, he's he's up a stock, but I think um, the the mental damage is um, that Ginger might be apprehensive to hold ledge again, which is such a key element of Edgeguarding versus Sheik. Yeah, a hundred percent, and just the uh, if not the mental. Uh, damage and just the habit forming potential of it. Like yeah. now, Plup is aware of that situation as well. Oh yeah, it's like yeah, maybe he's he's worried that and he'll give me ledge again. I like the dash dance actually. Oh, he crouch cancel F tilts. Crouch cancels at that percent. That grab was crazy. One of the last true fighting Falco names here, Ginger is. Oh, uh, that's true. Uh, Coming up on the hills of other of other uh, like west balls, and, and I think that's pretty much it as far as solo guys go. Yeah, if you reach back further, maybe zoo. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, I mean, bird representation is uh, pretty low at the top top level. Oh, I like that down tilt a lot. Oh, and uh, that's the double laser from ledge. Plup being above it gets to ferret. Plup playing kind of, uh, I, I feel like almost reckless up in the air. Yeah, 100%. I agree with that. And I really like how Ginger capitalized on it on this stock so far. Uh, what, that combo that he almost took Ginger's stock with was, in particular was quite gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crouch cancels. F smashes bread and butter. Yeah, I don't think down tilt kills there, so I think F smash is not a bad choice. I like the jab and air. Ooh, Plup can do a lot here. Plup can do a lot with this. Hesitates a little bit on that fourth mm -hmm. hit. Yeah. Oh, I think that's a kill. I think he uh, he kept that distance there just to like try to hold some corner pressure. But at high percent there, if he gets hit out of it, he's he died. Uh, but it's it's even stocks here. It's gonna be really key for Ginger to not go down 2-0 here. Um, the shine is a good start. I like the nair to fight out of the corner. <gasps> Almost something. Ginger goes underneath Plup to get out of the corner. Oh, I can't believe none of those needles hit. Oh, that was an insane angle. That was like 17%. How is he alive? <laughs> How is he alive right now? Plup burned his double jump for a fair. Yeah, okay. Ginger is there to capitalize too. I think generally that was a pretty... I think... That's that's would be considered a pretty unsafe um, movement out of out of the corner there. I mean, like chic double jumping and fairing uh, when you're at that percent in the corner. I think the Falco is going to full hot bear every time. So you know, I, I good stuff to Ginger for keeping on the pressure and not. Jumping into Plup's fair, I think maybe Plup is trying to, if it's not a miss input, I think he was trying to knock Ginger on the other side of the stage. Ooh, Phantom. Ooh. This is huge. The back air string okay. from Plup did the easy money stock. Let me tell you why uh, he went for reverse bear there instead of a stronger hit. Is because I think it probably wouldn't have sent him. Um, it wouldn't have allowed him to tech at that low percent, but Plup is being sure that Ginger does have- Oh, unfortunate SD. Um, but Plup is making sure that Ginger can't recover in any sneaky way by just reverse bearing, because, um, that's gonna send Ginger at a trajectory where he's not gonna be able to tech and start a side, uh, an up B or something. Oh, I love that up tilt. Ginger trying to fight and claw his way back yeah. into this oh, game, and he does, he, but he's he at it? one cost! Oh, okay, he lives, but he also saves Plup. Uh-oh. Big opportunity for Plup to put on a ton of damage here. Oh, he guessed. On the exit for the highway to the danger zone. He, yeah. <laughs> highway to the danger zone. Indeed, he makes it. The bear sends in reverse, so Plup has another chance here. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh... A good cleanup from Ginger, just ledge hot bear. You gotta feel like that's a, a momentum win for Ginger. Yeah, that's a big dub for Ginger. 
Ooh, I like the crouch cancel into F tilt from Plup. Oh, and that's why sometimes people can say, oh, never mind. I was about to say, that's why you see sometimes people consider this stage really good for Sheik um, versus Spacey's is because she gets all of those um, platform follow-up options when the platform is at that height. But at the same time, Falco's got some really oppressive aerials that can um, challenge Sheik's anti air down there. Staying on ledge, super tight battle, quite battle. Oh, oh, he reels back, F smashes. It's called the old and dirty. Did you know that has <laughs> been ready? <laughs> no, I've never heard it called that before. The old and dirty. Okay. In my day, in, back in my day, it was called the new and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Even stocks here for Plup and Ginger on game three. This is a big win, I think. Um, if Ginger, like pulls the upset on the counter pick. Really nice slide off the eye, but Plup is ready in crouch canceling. God, Plup makes such good use of the of some of the weirder, more nuanced of yeah. Sheik's moves. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. The DI was just a little off on that last hit, and Plup will take that one over Ginger. Yeah, and I think Ginger goes stadium here. Um, I think some Falcos like Dreamlands. Um, generally, I think... Uh, more sheep players tend to, and uh, Yoshi's is also sometimes a stage that Falcos will take sheep to, but like I think stadiums, in in my opinion, stadium is just the the good pick um, all around. You have a, a lot of good horizontality, like you get from FD, um, and the platforms can sometimes get in the way of sheep uh, sheep's movement. Horizontality is going to be the next uh, name of my next band. Horizontality? That's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! We are Horizontality! That just sounds like a good metal band name. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Ginger with a That's costly a error there. He did not land on the stage. I mean, look, he would, Ginger was down uh, two stocks on Fountain and brought it almost all the way back. Uh, so definitely in the realm of possibility, especially as he's got Sheik in the corner here. I think she's jumped. Okay. I think down tilt kills there. Yeah, that's down easy. Smash. Yeah, down smash or down tilt is what most people would have done there. But maybe Ginger was just a little wanted to just get a little bit more damage off before committing yeah, down, down tilt. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he knows better. Like on that side of. Like Plup is uh, DIing all the way to the corner, might live. But. Yeah, and of course, people are also expecting the down tilt or down smash there a lot of the time. So, ooh, <laughs> goes for the crazy tipper, uh, tipper up smash. He goes for the drop and end. Yeah, Ginger couldn't get away fast enough. That's killing, dude. Ate too much. No, Surprise, don't say Ginger. that. Don't say that. Who would pay five dollars? <laughs> That was that was that that's just a, a Twitch name. I think that's just yeah, because yeah. the first eighty one chilling dudes were taken. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 For sure. Ooh, really? He's guessing there, but actually, so what you see there is Plup is dashing to the left, and he's looking to cover both tech in place and roll to the left with that up. Really nice shield pressure from Ginger. He's keeping it on. He's reading that roll too. Oh, I I think maybe a down smash would have positioned him for an edge guard there, but he, he keeps the combo going. Plup is in a higher percent now in an edge guard situation. Oh man, Ginger's really bullying him off the side of the stage right now. Yeah. And the percentage is high. Oh, wow, yeah. that was an insane high percentage shine bear. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, he's not far off. I can't believe he got the fair out. Normally, it's uh, the, the F tilt against Sheik puts her in an edge guard situation there. Ginger failing his uh, his ledge dash. And now, I love the tomahawk grab with the invincibility. 100% set point for... Yeah, well, Plup, Plup gets a little greedy. Plup gets a little bit greedy trying to uh, drift back into stage, trying to put an aerial out there to see if that might like save him, but the trade works out in Ginger's favor. You know, kids, we call that a GameStop trade. He earns that. He earns that game five.
this oh, is yeah. fucking that too, and that's that. That's that uh, rare, rarefied air uh, going to the last game against a player of this caliber. So. Oh yeah, and not a lot of people can say that they took Plup this far. Oh yeah, but he's in a bad position right now. Really smart not to to side B, and really bad by Plup to SD. This would be an amazing upset if Ginger can keep this going. Oh yeah, Plup evens it up though. I'm not interested to see how Plup. seconds in. Oh yeah, Those, these two are going at it. I'm interested to see how Plub builds percent low. I like that uh, drop through the platform strong bear. If you're Plub and you're taking um, trade damage here, you're pretty happy. What, yeah, Sheik loves to trade. Oh, and especially at that low percent stage, they're more high value. Shine stall. Okay. Club opts to instead cover many options just slightly, and he gets the, uh, like, ginger tech rolls in it, and he gets the, he covers it with that fair. The falling back air, too. Yeah. This is a crucial tech chase. Ginger cannot Lots take too of much. damage coming. He might just kill him. Okay. 50 is, like, you're feeling good if you're sheep. Yeah, and you're feeling horrible if you're Falco. You're like, oh man, a stray hit from, from you, and I'm gonna be off stage. Yeah. Ooh, can he finish it though? Yeah, he punishes the drift in. And I don't think Plup has a jump. He's just close. <gasps> I don't know why he's going for the shine. It's just maybe more reliable. It's just you have to get the confirm off of it. Yeah, he doesn't want to have to use that guess word probably. Mm. Plup, Plup keeps doing a good job of mixing them up. Okay. Even stocks, but like Plup has pretty free reign at this percent. Um, if he gets a fair or a strong bear, that sends him off. Um, or if he puts him in knockdown, yeah, finds the uh, finds the fair as Ginger is moving towards center stage. Ginger down a full stock. I think that could have been shield grabbed. Plup taking her nice and easy. Yeah, That's that top player stuff. Now, yeah, definitely. Starting to slow down the pace of the match dramatically. And I think Ginger kind of knows and he's like, okay, I I can't be forcing things and he's looking for up tilts and bears. Um, but Plup not biting. Yeah, and if he's not doing exactly that, then he's doing a great job of disguising what his intentions are when he's coming in. There. Oh, that was a crazy like reaction to like that coverage was nuts. By plug. Yeah. yeah, he gets the F tilt on side B fair. Wow, really good stuff to plug. Game five, close battle. Ginger with an awesome showing there.